Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I would like to show you my clutch kit and flywheel kit because it is almost done. The last parts are in the mail and will arrive soon but I already got the main product which is the nice billet flywheel here. That's what you see here. I ordered 10 of those at first. Just wanted to see how the reaction of the people is. Will it be accepted and uh, do people like to spend that money on a nice flywheel kit um, i'm using this one for me this is the only one which suffered a little bit of transportation damage it's not much it's just a mark um, but i would not sell this to customers like this the others are very nice but this one i will use for myself and also for demonstration purposes and as you might already see it is lightweight i think it is eight or nine kilos it compared to a sprinter flywheel which has 18 or something like that it's half the weight almost and this flywheel comes with the nice functionality of an exchangeable trigger wheel so here i have the 60 minus one type which is used on the M111 from stock, for example. And I also offer them with the five teeth uh, design for the OM605, also the six teeth design, and also the design for the M100, for the early M104s and early M111s, which only have like uh, two big segments and also with a magnet or on the M104 it was three segments with the magnet. I also offer these, so you can exchange the original flywheel for this one without having to change the engine control system. You can just uh, run it like this and the engine management system will not recognize that there's something changed because I also took care to have the angles right. You see there's the, the positioning pin and the position or the angle from this pin to the breakout of the teeth on this ring type, for example, which sits here, this needs to be exact, an exact angle. So the engine control system can apply the right ignition angle, for example. On the diesels, it doesn't matter, but on the petrol, this is very important to have that right. And that is one kit configuration. I have different clutch plates which I offer. Most of you have already seen that maybe in my online shop. So I have the sprung one which is good for around 600, uh, 650 newton meters. With this pressure plate which is a Zax performance pressure plate and actually stronger than the famous 765 which some of you might know from the BMW models. It's a very very famous uh, pressure plate which a lot of people with high horsepower builds use but it is old so there are better options on the market uh, already and this one is one of them. It has a higher transmission capacity for torque and it is also a very flat design which I like um, because the 765 is very thick so you have to design a much different uh, flywheel but uh, i wanted to stay close to the original design except for some weight cut and also the the starter ring is uh, machined right into the part so it's a single part but as you can see it is hardened it got heat treated so the wear is minimized when you start the engine and I think it is a very nice and very long lasting part and it comes pre-assembled of course I will assemble the trigger ring for you the pilot bearing the kit also comes with some high performance screws to assemble the flywheel to the crankshaft those are not the right ones I just wanted to show you how the kit would look so you get a feel of the the parts you get but this one is still in the mail and uh, but I want to show you how to 
how I preassemble the kit and how I place it on the engine. Also a side fact which I need to mention, the people using the sprinter clutch kit or the sprinter flywheel, they know that this pocket is not deep enough to fit the OM605, OM606 crankshafts because those crankshafts, the centering ring comes out too much and I took care of that so this pocket is deep enough it will fit on any Mercedes engine which has the same bolt pattern and there's no worries about that which is also a nice side fact. So what I will do now is um, assemble the pilot bearing and also the trigger wheel and then we will place it onto the engine and see how it looks and feels. I just pressed in the center bearing and the nice thing about that is that the position is defined so it will set, sit perfectly flat here with that surface and it has like a stop so you can only press it uh, this deep into the part which is nice. Um, I've seen other flywheels which only have a hole so you need to take much care to not press it too deep um, but with this one that is not a problem. So now let's turn it around and let's place the trigger ring. I will need to check on my mobile phone. I have a picture of my cat model so I can see in which angle I need to screw it down so it has the right one. I mounted the trigger wheel to the flywheel now. It's a nice and tight fit so it doesn't come off in any case. And uh, here is the comparison with an original M111 flywheel. So you see there is the centering pin and here is the breakout of the signal ring. Centering pin out of the trigger ring. It's exactly the same and uh, also what needs to be mentioned that this is balanced of course. See the balancing, balancing holes here and also the trigger ring has some balancing holes so the whole assembly is balanced and will run very nice. What you need to do of course before assembling this to your engine you need to clean it because there is machining grease on this uh, part and what I always do is to scotch the surface down a little so I make sure that any material which is still sticking to that is removed and then clean it nice with some brake cleaner and now we are ready to place this on the engine so I had to hang the engine on the crane because I didn't have enough space on the engine stand to place the flywheel but now I placed it on the crankshaft and the fitment very nice and you can also hear there's a nice ring that's the billet chrome molly steel you hear there for the screws I'm using some lock washers so just place them on the screws like this. And this will give some additional security when you're using this flywheel on the racetrack at hard use. And uh, I'm not a fan of Loctite. This could also be done, but uh, once you have to disassemble it again, you will be happy that you only use the lock washers and they are fairly enough. So I'm not placing the screws now because I want to wait for the high strength ones which are still in the mail. But uh, just to demonstrate you the assembly process, there's one special thing. Um, this clutch plate, which is the sprung one, needs to be placed the other side around. So this side where the spring carrier comes out normally needs to be placed towards the gearbox but uh, the 
flywheel is designed so you can place it the other way around which helps with the space between the pressure plate and the clutch plate so that's something you need to take into account place it the other way around it's the same with the other ones um, yeah it's just designed like this so we can use the flat pressure plate and uh, I'm using a different one not this one I'm using a, the metal one but I don't have it here right now but yeah this needs to be taken notice of and uh, of course there are also high strength screws coming with that so for assembling the pressure plate we have 10.9 screws here and everything is built and designed to a high strength so you can use that on the racetrack or at hard daily use hard street use track use whatever I'm not finishing the assembly process now because as I said I need to wait for the right screws but we can also have a look on the trigger ring so the flywheel is placed all the way down to the flange and you can see that the trigger ring is centric to the hole and I will get a sensor now and then we can also have a look on the spacing here we have the original sensor the crankshaft sensor from the M111 the later versions which already had the 60 minus 2 signal ring and this gets placed here it's the one I will actually use there's one thing you need to take care of if you place the six speed on this engine you need to grind down the sensor a little bit because this uh, flange here has some overlay and this will be there is no cut out in the six speed gearbox for that so if you just assemble the gearbox it will press on there and will clamp the sensor so you will never get it out again uh, make sure to grind it down and also what a lot of people don't know that the sensor rings of the M111 and the M104 have a different size so the M111 has a slightly bigger one than the M104 and also the M103 so if you want to use the 60-2 on the M104 when using the size of the M111 ring you need to shim that one millimeter outwards or you need a special ring that's no problem if you tell me before what engine you use it on I can um, size it down for the M104 so it fits perfectly without shimming the sensor and uh, I think those were the main informations the most important informations I will prepare now the first um, flywheel kits to ship it out to customers once the last screws and parts arrive and uh, I will keep you updated on the assembly process once this clutch kit is on the engine and once I have time for that the engine would be ready to place it into the car so because the clutch kit is the last thing that prevents me from assembling the gearbox to the engine and then I can put the whole unit into the race car um, but I think it will take a few weeks because at the moment I have a lot of stuff going on I'm moving to a new home so I don't have much time for this stuff unfortunately um, check out my store I have new things coming out um, week by week also have these nice um, license plate holders now if you want to support my brand feel free to check them out in my online store and buy them if you want um, I also got a cable harness now for the six speed swap online so if you want to make the six speed swap on your 202, 201, 124 Mercedes um, you will need that special cable harness with a relay to uh, control the reversing light so check that out 
And as always, leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, see you in the next video.